and uh, how's about that uh, uh, the bank run <laughs> have you guys looked into this <laughs> exciting stuff no exciting stuff no right svb svb bank runs right so what we're seeing right now is a lot of uh people that were betting on cheap money getting a rude effing awakening right cheryl the silicon valley bank the silicon valley bank the technocratic bank right yeah, Nagushka, will the bank run in America affect banks in Canada? Indeed, indeed. Uh, for example, TD Bank has already uh, dropped $10, more than $10 of its price. The odds are it's got a long way to go yet. Okay. Uh, someone mentioned in our, this, on our Gilded server, I don't, I don't watch cable television so i don't know what commercials they're running and i run ad blocks ad blocks plus goes I, I run multiple things on my when i'm online so i don't really see ads online either <laughs> only i only see ads from websites that have okayed ads to be run on that way i'm supporting them right so they make money off those ads and they're not very many right so someone on our guild server mentioned that Canadian government uh, or the banks in collaboration with the banks have been running ads for the last few weeks saying that don't worry Canadians uh, you know Canadian banks are solid because uh, Canada Canadian government has guaranteed 75% of all funds in Canadian banks and stuff and the person said that as soon as they saw those ads running they knew that something was up right there's going to be bank runs happening so um you know that's secondhand uh info but uh but canadian banks are going to get hit as well most likely especially especially one of the one of the things with canadian banks that they're extremely extremely vulnerable to is the war on china right so right now western world is gearing up towards a war with china the same way they did towards a war with russia in ukraine right so if china chinese investors decide to pull out of canada you can pretty much kiss most of the canadian economy goodbye right and the canadian dollar plummet right the canadian real estate <laughs> will 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 drop down back down to reality right not to the stratosphere or to the moon right it's already come down a fair bit but it's got so much more to go right just on a uh just on a uh, on the real estate front a couple of days ago i was uh, talking uh, with a friend of ours that they just recently bought a house recently mean last two or three years they bought a house right so their house value went up for a short period now it's back down to where it was where they bought it and they're like yeah yeah we won't lose money if we sell it if they can sell it right if we sell it you know we're about the same and then uh this friend was started sort of uh i started talking about svb uh, silicon valley bank just mentioned the drop oh there's a bank run in the united states and a couple of banks they, they're not really aware of what's going on but these people these friends of ours and all other people we know they ended up getting their mortgage floating interest rate right because the bank people said oh get it floating we advise people getting floating you if you listen to bankers regarding your finances you're pretty much screwed right you got to do your own research because the bankers are trying to make money mint money off your back so the people we know majority of people i think almost everyone we know that's carrying a mortgage they, they all sign up for floating meanwhile i told some of the people don't get floating what are you crazy including these this this friend that i was talking to a couple of days ago i told him when about don't get floating lock the damn thing in but you can only lock it for five years in canada anyway so in five year time they're screwed but these guys floated it right and then she told me two days ago i couldn't believe it i have to go what she goes yeah 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 uh 
you know, we're paying, they're, they're paying uh, $1,400 every two weeks, so $2,800 a month for a mortgage. And she goes, yeah, 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 and, and $4 off principal. I go, what? I was like, what? I looked at her, I go, what are you talking about? She goes, yeah, 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 we'll make payments every two, two weeks, bi-weekly payments, so $2,800, and a total $8. I go, what are you talking about? I go, you're only knocking off $8 off the principal? She goes, yeah. And if interest rates go up higher, we're screwed. I go, what, are you crazy? So she, she, and she, she, turn, she turns to me. She said, yeah, we're basically renting from a bank, our house from a bank. I go, if you're lucky, because if the house value drops more, now they're in the hole for few hundred thousand dollars right and then they also have to renew in whatever two years three years it, pure insanity pure insanity right that's canada in canada debt rate is through the roof a lot of people have floating mortgages right and interest rates are going to go up canadian dollar has already dropped down to 72 right the odds are it's going to go down. It might do a double bottom bounce up a little bit, come down again. But Canadian dollar, if this shenanigans with China continues, Canadian dollar is toast, right? Should be. Should It would most likely go down into the mid-60s at best, right? 